The cuttlefish has a superpower. It can change the pattern on its skin in an instant. Pigment cells called chromatophores help the cuttlefish change its disguise instantly. The ocean is amazing. They can even change their skin texture to mimic their surroundings and blend in to escape predators. So, how do you like this superpower? It's Baron here and let's explore the ocean together. May your times be safe and fun. Explore the oceans with Orca Torch. Yes, guys, welcome back to another live stream with Orca Torch. My name is Baron, and we're doing this live stream on behalf of Orca Torch. We're streaming from Malaysia, and we're streaming this to all over the world. So, welcome back, and um, I see some of you have already uh, signed in via the comments. So let's have a look at some of the, uh, the comments over here. I, I saw someone uh, signing in from Romania. Hi. And over here, right, I've got the social media handles for Orca Torch. So we've got Facebook, we've got their Instagram and their website and their service email. And mine would be, we're coming in from Wolfang Digital. I'm a filmmaker and we make videos on land, sea and air. So these are my social media handles. Uh, ours is on Facebook and YouTube, and we've got a website. So if you're interested, do check us out. Now, let's have a look at the chat because I see uh, quite a number of uh, comments coming in, quite a number of chats coming in. So let's see, we've got happy holidays from... And hey, Baron. Hi, Daniel. Daniel's here. Daniel's a technical diver from Germany. So, oh, from Austria, we've got someone from Austria coming in. It's Michael. Michael. And a happy Thanksgiving from, whoa, all, all, all the comments are coming in. Hey, guys, thanks for signing in. Thanks. Uh, you know, this, this makes it a really happy community, yeah? And uh, I'm really grateful for all your comments and all your support. Um, especially, you, you guys are making this an international community. You're coming in from all over the world. Um, I'm from Malaysia, so I'm from the Far East, and you guys are like, uh, you know, in the West, in the East. I think there's, <coughs> sorry, I think there's somebody coming in from Vietnam, if I'm not mistaken. Toledo, Ohio. Barbara, Barbara Adams, right? Toledo, Ohio. Wow, great. And uh, from Poland, ah, Poland. Ah, Shemek Sistalka. Hi, Shemek. Nice to see you here again. And Philippines, okay, we've got Philippines in here. Philippines is Ericsson Amarillo, right? Ericsson and oh, Karin Liu from Malaysia. Hi, Karin. Oh, all right. We've got a fellow countryman, a fellow countrywoman all the way from Malaysia, right? Actually, she's just uh, down the road. <laughs> hi, Karin. How are you? And um, hi, Baron from Toledo, Ohio, USA. Yes, Barbara. Yeah. Uh, Hi, all the way from Ohio, right? Okay, and we have someone from the Middle East, from Oman. And that is Paolo. Paolo, hi, Paolo, welcome, welcome. And uh, another Philippine, another Filipino, Loreto. Correct, is that Loreto? Yeah, from Philippines. And uh, Constantine Gazi again. Yes, Constantine, welcome. Constantine is from Romania, correct? All right, hi, Constantine. Constantine is one of our bigger supporters as well. Uh, we've got Barbara Adams again and hello. Oh, New Jersey. Okay, so I don't know what time it is in New Jersey, in USA. Um, wherever you are in USA, right? Thanks for joining us because I know it's probably quite a hassle to go through to watch us. Uh, yeah, so Craig Armstrong uh, from Alabama. Okay, I've got family in Alabama, right? So Craig, Craig, Craig is from Alabama and uh, it's in the morning. So he didn't mention what part of the morning so i hope it's not like some weird hour like 3 a.m or 4 a.m but thank you so much for joining us and um before we go further into this live stream right i'd like to tell you that uh, i was looking through the contest and i see that uh, many of you have listed down what you're thankful for and wow 
it was overwhelming to read uh, some of it. Some of your, your, your comments like can bring people close to tears, you know, because it's so warm-hearted, it is so touching. Thanks for sharing that part of your world with us. By reading your comments, I feel that, uh, you know, I have so much to be thankful about. Even in a time like this, where the entire world is taken over by the pandemic, thank you so much for being the bright light uh, on the internet. And well, today we are having Facebook Live with Orca Torch, and this is live number seven. And the special part, this is the Thanksgiving giveaway edition. All right. Yeah, it's the Thanksgiving giveaway edition, and they're giving away, right? We're giving away two torches this time. It's kind of unprecedented. We're giving away two dive torches very unprecedented so we've got a dive torch that is the d520 a smaller torch palm size uh, more for recreational divers and we have uh, okay and we have a d511 this is one of their this is their newest torch newest product hot off the oven from orca torch to you this is the d511 it's a technical dive torch it's more for technical divers right and this is not a palm size this is a bit larger but longer endurance we'll find out later the the names we have received from orca torch these are the shortlisted names and boy it is quite a list right it has been shortlisted by orca torch and given to us and we're going to use those names to enter into our lucky draw if you've been following us on our live it is the infamous Spin wheel, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, now this is totally random, yeah? So I cannot, I cannot intervene in any way, okay? So we will go to that shortly because I'd like to tell you what you will be winning. Okay, now let's see. We have the D520 and that is a torch for recreational divers. You've got five colors, yeah? Five colors, okay, silver, red, blue and black. Silver, red, blue and black. If you win this, tell Orca Torch which color you want or it will be sent to you randomly and you might get a pink one and you might not like it. I like pink ones, yeah. Okay, then it, this torch is rated at a thousand lumens of brightness. How bright is a thousand lumens? Very bright, very bright, okay. So a thousand lumens and with a runtime of two hours, which means, right, you get to be diving without charging it for probably the entire day. Right, a runtime of two hours for such a small torch. It runs on rechargeable batteries. You're using one 18650 battery, and then you've got two CR123A batteries. These are the smaller ones, so that's why you need two, and also uh, two 16340 batteries. So you've got an option of three different batteries uh, to power up your torch. Now, this torch is a rotary switch torch, which means there's no button you twist the torch head to switch it on. Okay, I'm not a fan of rotary switch. I like push button ones, but I know many of you, especially USA, you're coming from really cold environments. Um, so you probably are wearing thicker gloves and you want to be able to switch it on without trying to feel for where the, in the, where is the button, right? Okay, so this is great for guys who are using gloves. Okay, now, again, uh, we all know this, but rated at 150 meters waterproof. And most of us, most of us don't go down that deep anyway. So that is your D520. And who is the D520 for? Let's find out. The D520 is for recreational divers. So if you're a recreational diver, I think most of us have been there. Most of us are recreational divers, okay? So this torch is for you. Okay, now it's got five colors. I just want to tell you that again. And we've got a nice video here for you to see how the D520 looks like, how small it is, how maneuverable it is. So it's got Cree LEDs. Cree LEDs are LEDs which are high performance LEDs. Okay, it's got a long lifespan. It's got a high output and it's very stable. 
which means it's going to last a long time. This light is light. This light is light. It is 113.5 grams, excluding the batteries right now. How heavy is 113 grams? It is as heavy as about five slices of white bread. Okay, now it's compact. It's at about 134.5 millimeters, so really small, and it's aircraft grade aluminium. Wow, this is this is one rugged torch. It's one rugged torch. Okay, now this is the D511. Okay, uh, in our previous live stream, we have seen the D511 up close in detail. So most of us will already know how the D511 looks like. But if you're not sure, or let's do a quick revision before we go for the lucky draw. Quick revision. The D511 has a beam angle of 8 degrees, which means it's very narrow and it has a long throw. So it will pierce through the darkness. It will go further than what your eyes can see. Now, it has a rotary switch. So today's torches are all rotary switch, boys and girls. Okay, so you turn the torch head to switch it on. It's got 2,200 lumens of brightness, which is twice the brightness of the previous one, the D520. And you have this brightness for 3 hours and 10 minutes continuously. All right, so it has a very long endurance. However, you can use C size batteries as well. We'll get to the uh, runtime for that later. You can use C size batteries and it's rated at 150 meters waterproof. Yeah. We are looking at a runtime of about 3 hours and 10 minutes at 2200 lumens using two 26650 batteries, the standard ones that come with the D511. However, if you can't find your batteries, the batteries are not charged, you want an alternative battery, you can use the C-size batteries which are available kind of everywhere, although a bit rare nowadays. Okay, now the C-size batteries will take you for 5 hours and 30 minutes at a reduced uh, power output of only 900 lumens, but after all, it's C-size battery, right? So the best is still the 26650 that comes with the torch. Okay, waterproof to 150 meters. Now, what's next, right? We're going to talk about who the D511 is meant for. Who is going to be using the D511? Probably not recreational divers. So this torch is meant for technical divers. Okay, why technical divers? Because this torch is high endurance. It lasts for a very long time. As you can see, over two hours of runtime. And also, this torch is robust. So it's a very strong torch. It's made of aircraft grade aluminum, so impact resistant, right? Okay, now this torch is great for technical divers because you, are, you guys are diving in extreme environments. So many of you will be wearing gloves, thick gloves at that and also using wet uh, dry suit, right? So with glove hands, it's very easy to switch on the torch by turning it around. You don't have buttons to look out for. This torch is very streamlined and compact. For a big torch, right, it's actually streamlined and compact. Okay, so this is something that uh, technical divers will like to look for because they navigate very narrow passageways sometimes. Okay, now this torch is great for exploration, for industrial use, and for commercial. Now let's take a break for a short while and see if there's any comments. I know I've been, I know I'm going a little bit fast, right, but I think I have to because many of you are really excited to find out who the winners are for this lucky draw. So let's go and look at the comments and see if there's anything uh, we can answer for you. Now, uh, Orca Torch is watching this live. They are with us virtually. So they will be answering questions that I cannot answer. So if you've got toughy questions, uh, do bring them over, we'll help you out. And I personally will answer all comments, uh, even after the stream, I will go through them tomorrow as well to answer all the comments that I can. And Orca Torch will be in force tomorrow to help you with comments that are difficult for me, right? Okay, so what is the length of the D511? Oh my goodness. Okay, um, Orca Torch is with the specs, right? Okay, so you can tell them how, what is the length of the D511, but who asked that question? Craig Armstrong, right? Craig, I show you. I show you right now. Okay, let's head over to the uh, the close up, and uh, let's. I will show you Craig Armstrong. Now this is a D five eleven guys. We have a new bag. Okay, some of you have noticed this and pointed this out in the previous live stream and said that this bag is actually easier to pack because it is actually smaller and more compact. 
So this is a new bag from Orca Torch that comes with the, well, the D511 comes with it, yeah? So it looks like this, you open it up, it's zip, zipper, zipper, so you open it up, and this is the D511. Okay, what do you think, Craig? Is it really big? Um, Orca Torch has replied, I think, uh, they say it's 197 millimeters. What does that mean in US? Uh, 197 millimeters, okay, you try and translate that into inches. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Now, since we are already in a close-up camera, let's open it up and see what this guy is like inside. Uh, I'd like to point out that you have triple O-ring protection. Yeah, this, this, is a, this is a pretty serious torch, all right? So that's why they have all this uh, extra protection here. It's got, how many can you see? It's got three LEDs. That's what gives it its uh, brightness. Yeah, three LEDs. Hope you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so three LEDs in here. This is the inside. I don't know whether you're interested, but there you go. Okay, next. So we're using the 26650 batteries. These are larger than usual. Yeah, uh, we don't normally see batteries like this around. These are the 26 650 batteries, okay? And I'm gonna put them back in and let's have a look at what other goodies come with your torch. Before that, before that, I have to customarily, traditionally shine the torch right into your face. So I'm gonna do it now, okay? <laughs> okay, so this is the D511. Okay, you don't see the narrowness of the beam because after all, it's not in water, so you don't really see you don't really see the effect of it. This is on dry land. Okay, I'm gonna switch it off. And then this is your charger. So this charger works with multiple battery sizes. You've got all the readings here. You've got 10, 440, 16, 340, 17, 335, 18, 490, 18, 5, whatever, whatever. This is the common one, 18, 650, right? And the 26, 650, which is for this torch, the D511. So it looks like this, okay? Yeah, here you go. That's where your power cable goes in. And then with the torch, you have... Oh, so sorry. I'm really excited for the lucky draw, you know, so I'm dropping things all over the place. Okay, you've got your extra O-rings over here. These are spares. And then you've got, again, this would be the power cable for Malaysia. So if you're all the way in Ohio, right, uh, this would look different. So the Orca torch will know what to deliver to you. So this is for us. And then you've got this, uh, okay, so this is the lanyard, pretty standard lanyard, right? Okay, I don't know whether you're going to use that, but it's very helpful. And you've also got the, uh, for, your, for those of you who always forget to charge your batteries before your dive, you can still charge them on the way to the dive site, yeah, through your car, here, for you to see. Are there any comments? Let's continue with the comments and see if we've missed anything. Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. Wow, lots of comments today. Keep it coming, guys. Give them tough questions. <laughs> give them tough questions. <laughs> it's coming to the weekend, so give them tough questions. Okay, yes, many accessories, and that's good. Constantin Gazi, right? From here, it's like, oh, okay. Nice kit. Yeah. Barbara, nice kit. Yeah, uh, Barbara, the bag is pretty portable, and it's soft edge. As compared to the older bags, right, uh, it's... It, the older bags were not really like bags per se, they were like hard cases. So, you know, I mean, it's good that it protects the torch, but uh, it's pretty hard to pack because it comes with a handle. So that handle is, it takes quite a lot of space. Yeah. You can, Casper, you can catch a turkey with that torch. Okay, Casper, you need to explain to us what's happening here because we do have turkeys in Malaysia and that's not the way we catch them. So, how do you catch a turkey with a torch? <laughs> you gotta let us know, yeah? Maybe we can start a hobby here or something, catching turkeys with torches. <laughs> do let us know what you mean by that. No, seriously, I am really curious how you do that. Okay, how often should the O-rings be changed? Oh, yeah, that's a tough one. How, because it depends on how often you use a torch, right? So, um, 
I don't know, if you're like a dive instructor, dive master who dives every day with a torch, you probably need to look at it like three months or so. Um, for the rest of us who are diving like once a month, you know, um, changing the O-rings would be far and far f further away. So, Orca Torch, you want to weigh in on that? Or any dive masters, dive instructors out there, you want to weigh in on that? You want to answer that comment? It's a very nice comment. How often should the O-rings be charged by Craig Armstrong? Okay, we've, we vote for the Baron to... Shamek, huh? Why? Why? <laughs> She's asking me to shine the torch into my eyes. <laughs> he gets a kick out of that. But this is a D511. This is like super bright, you know. No. Maybe, a, maybe the D520, okay. <laughs> maybe after this life, just before we end, okay, I shine to my eyes. Okay, now I need my eyes for the reading the comments. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So, um, what's next? Okay, now, hang on. Before we go on to the next segment, I'd like to welcome... Uh, I, I like to talk about our user feature. So every live, we try to have a user feature. And today, we're going to feature a very handsome guy. His name is Shemek Sistalka. Now, Shemek Sistalka, he's a diver from Poland, and he loves to dive and firm wrecks. So Shemek is a, Shemek is a photographer and videographer. Okay, and look at that. That is a B24 Liberator that he's filming. Huge plane. Okay, I need to remove my picture away from the... Uh, because his picture is like so beautiful, right? So we need to focus more on his picture. Yeah, Shemek is on his way to discover the Junkers 87 Stuka. This is a World War II dive bomber that crash landed in Croatia on the island of Zerge, right? And I think how... Shemek edits his photos and shoots his photos. It's so beautiful. It's romantic and mysterious at the same time. Okay, and look at that. This is the engine that fell out of the plane when it crashed, when the dive bomber dived into the ocean, I think accidentally, right? So that engine fell out and this is Shemek and his partner looking at the Stuka. Wow, check out the size comparison. And this is Shemek with his partner, Monica, who is also his model. Wow, lucky man. Okay, so you have the beautiful couple over here. And they are using the... Wow, this is called Marsha Alam. It's in Egypt. It's one of Shemek's uh, favorite dive sites. And Shemek uses the D511 to navigate and to discover all these mysterious places. Okay, so if you don't believe me on the testimonial of the D511, take it from Shemek. What I'm going to show you next is Shemek's actual usage of the D511. So he's going into this uh, really mysterious and scary looking place, right? And uh, we're going to show you a video. So let the video speak for itself. Okay, let's go on to Shemek's video. Now, this place is called The Excavators. It's located in Shemek's hometown called Jaworsno in Poland. And this is an abandoned site. I think it's a man-made lake where they do a lot of excavating. So you will see a lot of wrecks of uh, old mining equipment, you know, mostly old mining equipment. So, uh, okay, now Shemek is looking at something really interesting here. However, I don't know what it is he's trying to find. So that's the D511 and Shemek's in his dry suit. The temperature over here is at 11 degrees and upstairs is about 0 degrees. Now, check that out. Shemek, what in the world are you looking for? Am I missing something here? Is there something like precious down there that you found? Because I, I can't, I can't, I know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, now, the one thing, <coughs> sorry, the one thing you look at this uh, adventure of Shemek's, right? You don't see any fishes here, you know? Is that a fish? You don't see any marine life hanging around. So, um, this is a very scary looking place, yeah? Everything is so still and it's so, so unlike the coral reefs that we've been diving in. Shemek, what is that? Now, you see, look at the narrow beam of the D511. It's actually traveling further than what our eyes can see. 
it's going beyond our visual range. That's how powerful this light is. So Shamek is very happy with his D511. And uh, if you're interested in Shamek's work, I have his Instagram handle down there. It's Sistalka underscore underwater underscore photo. Let's read what uh, Shamek has to say about the D511. Shamek says, for a guy who does like beautiful underwater photos and underwater vi videos, right? It's really quite, um, it's an eye opener to, to read this from him, yeah? The D511 has a very strong and durable design. Great light power to flashlight size ratio. A narrow strong beam of light ideal for divers. Long operating time with powerful batteries. Shamex is Talka, guys. Yeah, so that was from the man, Shamek himself. Shamek is a diver from Poland and he's been diving side mount for some time and he loves this configuration. So he's going to continue with side mount. So if anybody who has interest in side mount, maybe you can get together with Shamek because uh, he probably could teach you quite a bit. He is looking for... Monica. <laughs> okay, we have Monica here. Uh, if you look into the comments, right, Monica is Shamek's uh, model as well as partner. So she supports him in all his dives and help, and 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 she's the she's the beautiful one in the picture, right? He is looking for gold. She says, "Okay, so is that how gold looks like? I don't know. So <laughs> I think she's joking, right? Okay, so we got Monica there. Now Monica has a." Uh, Monica has a name that is as difficult to pronounce as Shamek. So go ahead and take up that challenge. Okay, uh, fantastic pictures. Yeah, I agree, right? Steve, Steve Reeves, I agree. His pictures, you know what? I, I, I love the way he colors his pictures. You know, they don't have that, that, that typical bluish tint and the way he lights up. I don't know how he lights them up, you know. Um, it, 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 it makes it seem like the ocean is mysterious and romantic at the same time. Well done, Shamek. So next, right, we're going to, well, we're kind of done here, right? Uh, you've seen the torch. You've seen both torches. So we're going to have a short question and answer. And then after that, we're going to go for the lucky draw. So I'm going to like talk to you for a bit while we wait for some Q&A. Uh, my producer is going to switch to the comments off and on to see if there's anything going on that we can help you with. Okay, so let's see. Uh, very direct beam. Very direct beam. Barbara. Barbara. Yeah, Barbara is a narrow, very narrow beam. You, you'll see that underwater, right? But on land, you, it's still, it looks quite wide on land. But once you go underwater, it's pretty direct. What depth was the wall dive? The wall dive would be the video, right? Um, Casper, Casper, you're re you're referring to the wall dive as in the excavators, yeah. Uh, Shamek says it's about fourteen meters at the deepest, so yeah, that's it, fourteen meters only. But you know, strange, right? That place is like to me, it feels so quiet and desolate. You know, it's like there's there's nothing. I don't see bubbles even, right? Shamek, what? Wow. <laughs> It can feel very lonely, I think, uh, diving in a place like that. Okay, um, this is a great light by Konstantin Gazi. Yeah, I want to show you the names that we have shortlisted. They are actually, yeah, they are actually quite a lot of names. Okay, so I'm going to let you meditate on this for a bit. I'm going to let you take this all in. These are all the names that have been selected by Orca Torch, which will go through our infamous spin wheel. And out of the spin wheel, there will be two winners. You're going to have a giveaway of one D520 Recreational Dive Torch category, one D511 Technical Torch category. And this is the short list that was selected by Orca Torch for taking part on their Facebook page contest. If you've not been with us for the other live stream, you may not be like surprised by this, but I am surprised by this. This is like, this is the thinnest pie I have ever seen. This is like the thinnest, you know, we had to like fit everybody in there. <laughs> okay, now how did we get these names? If you were wondering how we got these names, these names, were taken from 
folks who have gone to Orca Torch Facebook page and taken part in the Thanksgiving contest. The Thanksgiving contest, uh, the question was like, what do you, it's kind of along the lines of what do you want to be thankful for? What do you have to be thankful for? And uh, like I mentioned earlier on in the live stream, it kind of brought us to tears by reading your comments because they are so warm. Okay, so these are the names that have already been pre-selected. So there would not be any names selected on this live stream. Got it? Okay, now uh, the lucky draw, right? One random winner gets a new D520 dive torch. So this is the first lucky draw for tonight. Okay, next, the winner's name will appear on the spinner wheel and there's a banner down there. There's a, like a, like, uh, there's a banner down there. So if it appears on a spinner wheel, you won't be able to see it, right? Because so, so we will take the winner that is on the banner. Okay, and then Orca Torch will be contacting the winner. So this is being the D520, you get five different colors. So I hope you get the color of your choice. They will contact you. If this is your first time with Orca Torch, they will contact you and they will deliver it to you. Are we ready to spin? Or oh, do you need some time? You ready to spin? Okay, my producer says she is ready to spin it. Keep in mind, yeah, um, the winner cannot win twice, yeah? So if the winner wins the first time, we'll remove his or her name from the, from the shortlist and then you'll give chance to other people to win, okay? So are we ready to spin this? This is the Thanksgiving edition of the Facebook Live with Orca Torch. Shall I stop talking? Okay, ready? In three, two, one, spin it! Spinning, 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 woo! Look at it, it's like a rainbow, you know, it's like a, wow, it's like so many colors, like kaleidoscope of colors here. Oh man, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Come on. <laughs> okay, who is going to be the lucky winner? It's slowing down. Oh my goodness, it's slowing down, it's slowing down. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, Azali, you were the winner for the last live stream and this looks like a habit of yours, yeah? You cannot keep doing like that. Okay, so how now? Anyway, it's still a winner. Lah. So uh, congratulations, Azali. You have won yourself a D520. Okay, look, for the rest of you, right? This is not my doing. It is maths, it is algorithm. I don't know how this works. So, uh, you take it up with Azali, maybe, you know, take it up with him on Facebook or something because uh, for me here, congratulations, Azali. Uh, this is a winning streak for you. Yeah, good job, buddy. Okay, now I'm, we're going to remove uh, Azali's name from the roster. Okay, but Azali, if you're here the next live stream, uh, and you join us, your name will be added in again. Lah. So just this round, ah, brother, okay, we will remove your name. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, I, I have been instructed to stall. So I'm going to shine the light on you. <laughs> oh my goodness, Shamek. Shamek, I cannot see already. Huh? Yeah, okay, okay. What? Daniel, I see Azali was a decent human helping grandmas and... Okay, that feet disappeared. But yeah, Daniel... <laughs> okay, so my eyes are a little bit blind now. Shemek, we don't do that again, okay? Shemek, I don't like this torchlight shining onto my face. I've been instructed to continue stalling uh, because we want to make sure that uh, the list is in order. So, um, are there any comments? Uh, do list them down. Because right now, right, we've got one more winner to announce and that would be for the D511. So, this is the D511. 
Okay, do you want to see the D511? Okay, hang on. We're looking through, looking through, looking through. There's quite a number of names here. So we want to thank you for your overwhelming support. I've been looking through the, the comments, right? Wow, there's so many. So many of you have taken part in a contest and it's great, you know. You, and when I look at your names, right, I'm like, some of you, some of your names are so difficult to pronounce. Some of you uh, have easier names. What that means for me is I feel so, so happy because you're coming from all different parts of the world, right? So thank you for that. On behalf of Orca Torch, I thank you for that. And uh, are we done yet? I think we still have to... Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, what have we... Hana says, congratulations. Congratulations, Azali. I see Azali was a decent human being helping grandmas and getting good karma. Haha, <laughs> congrats, buddy. That was from Daniel, your friend from Germany. Okay, so... Ah, so now uh, we are ready. Lah. We are ready uh, for the D511. Correct? Okay. So we're going to switch the screen to the lucky draw screen. So we're looking at one random winner to get the D511 dive torch. And uh, the winner's name will appear on the spinner and the banner. And I think we'll, we can only see the, the banner. So uh, the next, what do we have next? That is the, yeah. Okay. And Orca Torch will contact you for your details to deliver it to you. Now, here is the grand prize for tonight's live stream. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the spin wheel. Lah. Spin wheel. Yeah, we're spinning the wheel, right? Are we spinning the wheel or what? Okay, we're going to spin the wheel now. Yeah, we finally, we finally agreed that the wheel will be spun. Okay, are we ready guys to spin the wheel? Okay, in three, in two, in one. <laughs> you thought hang, right? <laughs> you thought your life it hang, right? <laughs> I made you look. Okay, okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, this time serious. Okay, this time we're going to, to actually spin the wheel. There won't be any weird stuff from me like that again. Okay, stand by. In three, in two, one, and spin it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see who gets the torch. D511 technical diving torch at 2200 lumens. Okay, who's gonna win it? Who's gonna win it? Will it be a technical diver or will it be someone who doesn't know how to use it? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, 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 it's slowing down, it's slowing down. Craig Blanche. Did I say your name right? Craig Blanche. You are the lucky winner for the D511. Are you online? Are you joining us in this live stream? Because uh, I didn't see your name appear. If you are with us, congratulations. Do say hi. Congratulations for winning the D511. I hope you're a technical diver because uh, you're going to enjoy this torch so much. Okay, so uh, that will be kind of all for tonight. Uh, thanks for joining us. However, if you feel like disappointed, there is going to be a second chance for you. Okay, now you get to win the D511. You get another chance to win the D511, and this time it's going to happen at Orca Torches YouTube. So what you need to do is subscribe to Orca Torches YouTube channel. Okay, you leave a comment about what you think of the D511 dive torch. Pretty simple, right? What do you think of the D511 dive torch on their YouTube channel? Okay, and then you create an account at orcatorchstore.com. Now, this is pretty good because any updates, Orca Torch will 
be able to email you. You will be on their emailing list. So it's good to let you know what's happening. Okay, and I, I, I am on Orca Torture's uh, email list and they don't spam us. Okay, their, torture, their, their email comes quite rarely. So whenever they email you, it's always something that's important, something that's exciting. All right, so uh, yeah, one more thing. The winner will be announced on the 30th of November this year. So these are all the requirements that you need if you want to go for a second try at the D511. So in about three days time, the winner will be announced. Okay, so I'm going to wish you all the best for that. I want to say that this is Orca Torture's social media handles. And if you have anything, you can contact them at the service at orcatorch.com. This is where mostly related to warranties and uh, tough product questions. Okay, and these are my social media handles. Okay, and then uh, I want to wish you guys to have... Okay, first of all, happy Thanksgiving and uh, have a great weekend tomorrow and have great dives and stay safe guys. It's Baron here and I'm signing off.